Hello, I'm crazy, missing a lot of hair. Welcome to Poet Toys. Action figures. Today we're taking a look at Voyager class Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. The original Bludgeon never appeared in the G1 cartoon, but he did play a prominent role in the G1 Marvel comic. He started out as part of an assassination team called the Mayhem Attack Squad, and would eventually rise to become leader of the Decepticons for a period of time. He's a skilled fighter and an expert in the martial art of Metallicato, and he also followed an ancient moral code that gave him a strong and strange sense of honor. Kind of like a warped samurai code. Bludgeon's original toy was a pretender, meaning that his outer shell could separate to reveal a transforming robot inside. Bludgeon's robot form could transform into a tank, making this new version of Bludgeon's alt mode extremely appropriate. Bludgeon's outer pretender shell essentially looked like a samurai with a skull for a face. And there's no need to make the standard Optimus Prime joke about ripping Bludgeon's face off because Megatron pretty much beat him to it in the short-lived Generation 2 comic. Nearly all depictions of Bludgeon show him holding a sword, yet his original toy never came with one. Apparently, his original control art showed him holding one and it just kind of stuck. He and the other Decepticon pretenders, Octopunch and Stranglehold, all are usually featured holding melee weapons of some sort that none of their toys ever came with. Now this is not the first time that Bludgeon has been offered in the movie line. Not very long ago, this two-pack was available at Toys R Us. Uh, it was a Toys R Us exclusive. It features uh, Bludgeon as a Movie One Wreckage repaint. And he comes packaged with Autobot Whirl, who is a repaint of Movie One Evac who, in turn, was a retooled version of Movie One Blackout. Now, the bio for the new bludgeon is actually linked to, the, to that of the two-pack. And I'll include both of those in the show notes, but needless to say, it made me interested enough to want to pick up this two-pack. I think I've droned on about trivia for long enough. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Bludgeon comes packaged in tank mode, so that's what we'll look at first. Here is Bludgeon in all of his tank glory. There are wheels on the underside of Bludgeon uh, on the treads, which the original figure cannot boast. The turret can also move a full 360 degrees, which is kind of neat. There's not a whole lot more to the tank mode, so let's take a look at the robot mode. He does come with a couple accessories, which actually are part of his vehicle mode. So if we take a look at the back, the front gun on the turret comes out, and it becomes this really long sword, which is pretty cool considering he's pretty much a big samurai. Let's see, this is really one of my favorite parts of this figure. If you take this side of the turret and pull up, kind of folds out, but there's some gears and stuff in there to have this smaller sword pop up, and it's, it's just really cool. It's hard to see on video, but let me see if I can zoom in here a bit. We just take this top piece and we can see the mechanism just kind of fold up. It's pretty cool. Um, completely unneeded, but totally awesome that they included it. So now that we've revealed this smaller sword, we're just going to take it out and fold this back down. And the great thing is he actually comes with, well, he has two places where he can hold the swords, two scabbards. 
So let me zoom in once again. There are actually two holes. There's one here, and there's another one here. The larger sword goes in here, like so. The tank tart can sometimes get in the way of that, but just uh, just pulled it to the, uh, rotate it to the side. And this the smaller sword fits into the the outer one, just like that. Very very neat um, feature that really wasn't expecting. And here is our samurai with his sword in its scabbard. I gotta say, this figure is pretty awesome. Um, I haven't really been excited about the Revenge of the Fallen line, uh, but this figure is definitely a highlight in an otherwise low point as far as Transformers are concerned. I do want to point out a few small things about the robot mode on Bludgeon. The first is the very cool skull face. Now the original bludgeon wasn't quite a skull face, but it was pretty close. And this is pretty much along the same lines. It's not quite a skull face, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, some people complain that it didn't look enough like a skull, but honestly I think it's fine. It does appear as though there was going to be some light piping in there. You can see by this, this panel on the back of the head. Next I want to point out the hands on Bludgeon. I don't like these hands at all because the um, they're made of a very stiff plastic. Very uh, uh, There's not much give to it at all. So if you try and take the sword and put it in his hands, you will pretty much, you're pretty much guaranteed to damage the handle of the the sword because it is made of a very soft plastic which I'm sure it had to be for for safety reasons but uh, I think the the hands needed to be made of a much softer plastic so it doesn't damage the already soft plastic of the sword handle I've run out of time for now so thanks for watching if you have any questions, comments, or criticisms, you can email me at crazy at powit.tv, follow me on Twitter at powittoys, and as always, remember to check out powit.tv for all your news on gaming, comics, movies, music, and a whole lot more. And remember kids, open your toys. Stay tuned for the transformation. The first thing we're going to do to transform bludgeon is to pop the treads off of their place that they are hooked into. And there are four of them. Just get those out of the way. Alright, now we're going to go back to the top. And this back section is divided into three parts. We're going to take each side part and pull it back. Just going to pull it apart there and there and then up and back, up and back. These will form some armor that, that lay on the hips. So this frees up our legs. We're just going to fold this leg out and do the same on this side, just like that. And now I'm going to flip it around so you see the bottom of bludgeon. We're going to flip up that piece. We're going to rotate this pelvis piece up like so. Try and get the um, this back piece out of the way. And then rotate it all up till it snaps into place. Then we can move our legs down, like so. 
and then shift them in just rotating them in like that just make sure that this piece here is down all the way so you can freely move that into place you can see our midsection is starting to form pretty nicely then we rotate the legs the lower legs so the tread is facing forward and then the top back of the calf folds back and the whole section moves up and that frees the legs the, I'm sorry the feet to fold out and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so tread forward fold the calf back and then fold out the feet excellent things are coming together very quickly next we're gonna move to the shoulders we're going to kind of break these apart and pull each one down the turret will get in your way at various points but it's pretty independent of the movement of the rest of the figure so not to worry about that next we're going to rotate the um, shoulder forward and pull the arm down and just kind of rotate it into a semi-normal looking arm um, after you do that you'll want to fold out the fist like that and then fold down the front of the shoulder so we have a somewhat normal looking robot arm now so we're going to do the same thing on the other side rotate forward pull arm down fold out fist and then fold front of shoulder down excellent lastly we're going to push this entire torso down to the to the to the waist and that will reveal the head this is kind of an area that I don't like because it takes a bit of force there we go and that is good to go you can see the head popped up we're just gonna fold down this front piece I'm just going to take a quick look to make sure everything is in place. And we're looking good. So this is pretty much bludgeon in robot mode. I don't think I've missed anything. But I'm sure I will be told if I did. <laughs>